Right, FSG, they're still following us. What? I'm going to drop you off at Eric Marsh's place. You're going to have to bail out at speed. But we can do this. We can do this. We'll make the turn and they will shoot past, hopefully. Okay, Clint, if you're sure. Right, get ready. Go, go, go. I bail into the ditch. Bail into the ditch. Oh, there they go. I hope Clint's going to be okay. Well, Clint said to head over to Eric Marsh's and he would know what to do. So, let's go see him. FSG, it's so good to see you looking well. People were very concerned about you. Eric, how are you doing? Um, Clint said I should come see you. Yeah, he told me what he was going to do and he said uh, to be on standby because he may need to kind of put you somewhere out of the way. Yeah, seems that way, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so uh, what's the plan? I think I'll stick you in one of the sheds tonight. It's a warm night, so you won't get cold, but uh, less likelihood of them snooping around there if they come to the house. Nope, fair enough. Let's do that then. Oh, Clint's going to be alright. Well, morning everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. Oh, it was actually a good night's sleep. And uh, i tell you what, Eric throws up a good breakfast. But here's Clint. He did phone ahead and say he was uh, making his way back, so... I don't know how, but he's shaking those two trucks. That's quite impressive. Clint, can't thank you enough for last night, mate. That's uh, all good, buddy. I just needed to, uh, to make sure that you were okay. Um, what happened with the trucks? I just shook him off. I mean, Daryl knows these roads like the back of his hand. But I know these roads like the back of the back of the back of his hand. Okay, well, like I said, can't thank you enough, man. Listen, you couldn't run me back to uh, my cabin, could you? I think I need to freshen up. I've been in these clothes for ages. Yeah, I need to really think about what we're going to do next. This is starting to get kind of big, isn't it? Sure is. It sure is. Yeah, for sure, man. Jump in. Honestly, Clint, I can't thank you enough for all the work you've done on the farm as well. Will you uh, say thanks to Cletus too? Maybe he'd... Uh, maybe like a little present or something. Should I give him uh, like a, a year's supply of baked beans? I know he loves them. FSG, the last thing Cletus needs is a year's supply of baked beans. They nearly foiled our uh, snooping around the shed, amongst other things. And the upholstery in my truck's never going to be the same again. There you go, man. Rest easy. Thank you, Clint. You're a good friend. I'll catch you later. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Time for a rest, I think. We've reached out to the sheriff for comment, but as yet have had no word from him. Jeez, this has got big, hasn't it? In the town of Clearwater has had a bad That's interesting, these Channel 4 guys have really caught on to this. They could come in handy. Knowing what we know now, this could, uh, this could definitely play in our favour. Anyway... I want to know what's happening with Buck. He has been incredibly quiet the last few days. Let's give him a bell and see what he's got to say for himself. Yeah, this is Buck. Buck's FSG. What the hell is going on, man? Buck? Buck? Buck, ah, he's hung up on me. As soon as he knew it was me, he hung up. Talk about guilt. Right. I'm going to get showered. I'm going to get cleaned up. Uh, Clint's on his way back. I'm going to head to the farm and see what we can do there. Clint, I appreciate the lift, mate. Thank you. You're doing too much. It really is appreciated. Uh, no worries, FSG. Just glad to have you back, man. But let's get down to the farm. I need to walk you through what we've done, what equipment we've got, and uh, what needs to do next. 
No, that's awesome. No, really looking forward to getting back to some sort of normality for a while. I'm slightly worried though. Those trucks are going to come back, aren't they? Oh, you bet they are. With uh, more rage than they had before as well. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. I tried to phone uh, Buck just there as well. He knows what's going on. He just doesn't want to admit it or be a part of it, I think. We'll track him down, though. Listen, FSG, I've got a little bit behind on the oil deliveries as well. Uh, so I apologise for that, but with everything that's going on, it's uh, been a bit of a distraction. So what I might do is uh, get you to drop me off at the, uh, at the oil derrick, because the truck's parked there. I'll run a few uh, oil runs, and uh, I'll let you go back to the farm. How does that sound? No, nope, perfect. Let's kill two birds with one stone, right? Well, I am exhausted. Trying to get my head around what's going on here. Um, maybe just getting our head into a little bit of uh, farming might just take our mind off things for a little while. But uh, so many things going on in my head. But I think this is... This is coming to a head soon, I think. Too many people involved. The press are all over it. There's going to be some findings from the accident. And, uh, yeah. I'm without a truck again. Can you believe it? it? Seems to be a bit of a habit I'm forming here. Oh, well, there's my combine that Clint mentioned. That <laughs> looks great. Look at that, the old farm all is back as well. That thing caused us so much hassle at the start, didn't it? And now look at it. Back where it belongs. Looking as good as ever. So, Clint said we've got a nice amount of soybeans in these silos. We're going to just wait for the price to be a little better for those. Um, but I'm going to invest in some more modern machinery, I think. What we need is a good plough for this field. And a more of a workhorse track. So that farm wall's great, but really uh, not really powerful enough for what we need now. Um, so we are going to treat ourselves. I've phoned ahead to the dealership. We're going to lease to buy some equipment because, to be honest, we don't have that much money yet. I think we're sitting on about ninety thousand dollars. Well, a lot more to come from the oil. That's about to uh, take off in a big way. And uh, so we will, I think, head straight down there now and go and pick those up. So like I said before, um, we've released these. It's cost us about $5,000 for the tractor and about $3,000 for the cultivator. But um, hopefully, if we keep them for long enough and the funds come in, we'll be able to uh, buy them outright. Because to be honest, I think this is a tractor we are going to keep for a while. And there we go. The good old dealership has got them out and ready for us already. So I am looking forward to this great having old kit something a little bit more modern is really gonna get us started so there it is look at that an 8410 looking absolutely fantastic and we've got a rather nice wide cultivator too now this uh, needs 250 horsepower to run i think we've got about 264 in here so we should be all right but uh all we can do is give it a go. Right. Let's get back to the farm. Right, here we are. I think we just jump straight into the field and get on with it, don't we? This tractor is so nice. We'll have to move the combine off the field, but other than that, we are good to go. It's nice to be doing some farming again. And forgetting about all those other worries we've got.
Well, that's a good job. Well done. That was really good fun. I love this tractor already. So we're just going to drop this at the farm. Clint has phoned. He said he's done a few runs with the oil tank. He said there's tons of oil still left there. So rather than putting it all in the refinery, I might just sell some direct. Prices are good and uh, means we can double up, really. Uh, when the uh, petrol is ready, we can... Wait a minute. What's going on here? This can't be good. This can never be good when the sheriff's here. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Hello, Sheriff. How can I help you? Hello, FSG. We're obviously following up on the last few days' incidents, and uh, Clint had mentioned that he had found you. Wondering why he didn't come and see us. Really? After your history? Listen, I understand. That's why I brought the feds with me as well. We are looking into this in a lot of detail now. Um, I've been duped as well. And I think you have. So, let's just get to the bottom of this. Can you tell us everything you know? And we can take it from there. Fine. Okay. But if anything comes out, or I get into trouble again, I know where the leak has come from. Well, there they go. Hopefully... I've not just given away all my secrets. We'll wait and see. Right, as Clint said, there's quite a lot of oil still sitting. So we're going to go and grab the big rig from town. And we are going to get that unloaded. Maybe go and sell some fuel too. We'll see how much is in the uh, refinery. Right, here we are. Let's grab this and go and get a load of oil. I think there might even be a full tanker load. Which could be quite lucrative. Right, we're nearly there. Now, my plan is, knowing how much oil we're getting out of this, is to maybe put a second pump in and really start to up our uh, income. We need a bit of money for that, though. So uh, we'll see what we make from this oil, but it could be that we plough it straight back into uh, a second oil pump, because there's definitely a requirement for uh, making the most of this while we can. Right, let's see how much is in the tank. The uh, loading pipes are on the other side. Hopefully we'll be able to load this up, but... Uh, 74,000 litres still left. After Clint's done his run. It's been a few days, so uh, that is interesting. Right, let's get it filled up. We are going to take a full tanker of this. We can check the prices too. Now, having just had a look at the prices, actually the train to Cheyenne is the uh, best price, but only by a few dollars, and... Let's be honest, we're not getting into the uh, train depot at the moment with everything that's been going on. Um, it's still penned off by the police doing investigations and there's car parts and train parts all over the place. So uh, the next best one is actually the oil depot, which is next to the refinery. So actually ideal, to be honest. Uh, they're wanting just over $1,500 per thousand litres. So not a bad price. Maybe not the best, but... Uh, the amount of oil we've got we shouldn't turn it down so let's head over there we'll get this sold and we'll pick up whatever gas is in the um in the refinery as well and we'll take that to our, our gas station and sell that as well and see what it does for our finances but um it's gonna be in the money by the end of uh, today i think Right, here we go. Like I said, the refinery is the second building, but just in front of it here is the oil sell and distribution point. So, we can do a direct sell here and just get the cash straight away for this. Let's see what this is going to bring in. There we go. Still half a tank just empty now, and we are absolutely way up on our money. 140,000, 61,500 in income there. That is insane. And that's only the half of it. 
let's fill this up with uh, gas for the uh, for the gas station as well. We're not finished yet. But if ever you wanted justification that that second pump should go in, that's it. 46,000 of diesel here as well. Now, I think the price is much of a muchness, but we'll soon find out. But this is, uh, this is really turning us around. This is turning our hopes and prospects around big time. Now, there was 16,000 litres of propane there as well. We're going to leave that until that's a full tanker load as well. And uh, wait as well, that's... A little bit of a bonus, actually, to be honest. But this is really going to change our fortunes. Right, we will see you at the gas station. So I've done my best today to ignore the new findings that Sandy was always pulling the wool over my eyes, and Daryl as well. I can't believe it. Two of the people I trusted the most stabbed me in the back, so I don't know where to go from here, really. I don't really know who to trust. The only person that's been really decent with me is Clint, so I would hate it if he turned his back on me as well, so hopefully that's not going to happen. But you never know in this town, right? Right, let's see if we can get this unloaded. There we go. Trigger kicked in already there, but we might as well reverse this in neatly, if we can. There we go. Pull forward and get the unload trigger, and we are good to go. Let's watch this money tick up again. Right, coming up to the end of the tank. 50,000. So, in fact, uh, gas is selling for less than crude oil straight at the moment. So, that's interesting. We'll uh, consider what we do with that. Uh, next time we've got a full tanker load, we'll check the prices. But still, 191,000 in the bank now. We have enough to buy a second oil pump, which really starts to make things interesting. Hey Clint, how's things going? FSG, you need to come down here straight away. Yeah, sure man, okay. Uh, is everything alright? Uh, you'll see when you get here. They said take it as a warning, FSG. Did you recognise the voice? No. They're not stupid enough to use their own voices, I think they use one of their henchmen. But, uh... There was some good moonshine there, man. I'm gutted. I know, Clint. But listen, don't worry. The net is closing in on them now. 